In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the wrapped function in Google Sheets. I have two examples right here. This first one you may have seen in our how to use our character function in Google Sheets. If you haven't seen that yet, there's going to be a link at the top right corner that you can just click. But before you go to that, let's proceed to this one. So we're going to use the wrapped function to repeat a character, a number or a letter within one cell. Let's get started. So our first example, we're going to repeat the star character right here to represent the ratings on this column. So we're going to start with our equal sign, type in rept, then we're going to put in the character function, put in our table number, then press F4 to lock our cell reference. Close in parentheses, number of repetitions will be on the left side, and then press enter. And there you have it. So let's just double click this to fill in the rest of our data. So again, that's rept, char, our cell reference, and our number of repetitions. That's for our first example. Let's go to our next example. So we have the name John here, and we want to have it repeated five times. But instead of having it in one cell, we want it separated and vertically. So we're going to start with the rept function. Select the text to be repeated, comma, and the number of repetitions. If you press enter, you have five Johns without spaces within one cell. Now let's try and split it. We're going to insert the split function at the beginning. That's the text to be split. Let's edit our formula, add the ampersand. Then go at the end, comma, put in our delimiter, which will be a space, and press enter. And now we've split our five Johns into our columns. Now we want it vertically. What we can do is to just add the transpose function at the beginning. Press enter, and there you have it. So we have five Johns vertically arranged. Let's say we want this repeated 12 times. And there you have 12 Johns. What if we want 20? We can have 20. And those were the two easy ways on how to use the rept function in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.